shaking wakes me from a stupor. It is dark outside, so I assume it is still night or at least early morning, and only one thing will stop this. I need alcohol, now. I pat around the bed and pick up a few empty bottles. I lift them one by one to my lips, trying to drain them of every last drop. Nothing. I am in pain. I need a drink. I need alcohol. I am sweating and I start to retch. I know this feeling. It's alcohol withdrawal. The nausea is overwhelming and I make it to the bathroom and begin to heave over the toilet bowl. I look up and I see there, up on a shelf, an old bottle of Flex hairspray. My salvation. I reach for it. I've learned from other alcoholics and addicts I have met in rehab where to find traces of alcohol when the real stuff is all gone. Angostura bitters, mouthwash. I twist off the spray pump. The bottle is about three quarters full. I suck out every last bitter drop. Stick out my tongue and shake it just to make sure. It burns my throat, my stomach, but I know that I must just hold on. Hold on and the shakes will subside. The taste in my mouth is unbearable. Shit. Now I have to try and make it downstairs and eat some jelly. I need to get rid of this chemical tang. Will I make it downstairs to the kitchen? I do. I shovel the jelly into my mouth and shuffle back to the bedroom. I collapse on my bed and tip over into that safe unconsciousness. 8 a.m. and severe pain wakes me. I have felt nothing like it before. I do not, re I do not recognize this feeling. I can hardly walk and I know that something bad is happening. I need to get to Priscilla. I need help. I make it out of the townhouse, across the lawn and through the gap and the wooden fence that separates our home. I feel I am dying. I'm tired. I've had enough. I want to stop and I'm so frightened and I just surrender. I surrender. Priscilla opens the door. She takes one look at me and she knows immediately something is very wrong. Do you want me to take you to hospital? She said. I said, yes, is all I can manage. I'm led to a ward, to a bed. I lie down, ill at ease, restless, and I'm left alone. I feel that I must stand up. I need to get to a loo. I drop my legs over the side of the bed, stand upright, and feel this sudden blow, as if I've been punched hard. My body arches backwards like a gymnast, and I collapse onto the floor. I've forgotten how to get up. My head feels like it's going to snap off, and I call for help. Help! I'm dying now. I'm screaming now. The pain is too much. I can't put my head down. I can't walk. Everything swims in and out of focus, like I'm losing the frequency. I feel the nurses and doctors securing my head between two plastic bricks, and the scene slows down. I call out for Priscilla, and she is beside me. Priscilla, we're going to crash, I tell her. It feels like I am hurtling dangerously towards something. Bile, I mean, the lights flash overhead. I'm dying, I'm floating. I hear Priscilla ask, is she gonna be okay? Well, we're doing everything we can, someone replies. And it is then that I know that I'm not ready to die. Not now. I have to find my way back home. It has all been so worth it. It has all been so good. I have sung for Nelson Mandela. I have sung a command performance for the Queen of England. I've traveled the world. I've shared the stage with international music icons. I have done what I wanted to do with my life. I have been a singer. I have lived my dream. How the hell did I get here? <laughs>